In Judges chapter 20, the people of Israel respond to the outrageously evil events recorded in chapter 19. And ultimately, a civil war ensues over what happened. We see at the beginning of this chapter that all the leaders of Israel come together to deal with the problem of sin in their midst. And once again, as with chapter 19, chapter 20 could be rated R for the appropriateness of the content of this chapter. See, the Levite from chapter 19 describes the abuse and the murder of his concubine to the leaders of Israel. And the leaders resolve to attack Gibeah and to execute the guilty criminals. But look at what we read in verses 13 and 14. The people of Benjamin would not listen. Instead, they came from their towns and gathered at Gibeah to fight the Israelites. You see, the tribe of Benjamin refuses to hand over the guilty of men and civil war ensues. And the rest of the chapter, it's bloody. Three battles with heavy casualties on both sides, but ultimately results in a near total annihilation of the tribe of Benjamin. At the end of it all, only 600 men from the tribe of Benjamin are left and 25,000 are dead. This is a sad chapter in the life of the nation of Israel. When commenting on this, Pastor Warren Wearsby, he says, when God's people refuse to obey God's word, the results are always tragic. The sin that was allowed to run rampant in the lives of the people of God had catastrophic consequences for thousands and thousands of people. But for those who sought to cover it up, it was even more devastating. In light of this chapter, here's one takeaway for us today. Deal with sin quickly. Deal with sin openly. Deal with sin obediently. Proverbs 28, 13 says, People who conceal their sins will not prosper, but if they confess and turn from them, they will receive mercy. 